Sometimes you just can't deny your feelings. That's just the case for Matt James as he's all about second chances, including with Rachel Kirkinell. It's official, the couple is back together. The controversial decision has been met with congratulations and backlash. The couple famously got together on the 25th season of The Bachelor, with Matt being a historic first in the franchise. The couple then broke up, which was revealed during the After the Final Rose special due to controversy. But now, the couple is giving love another go together. After the roller coaster of a relationship between Matt James and Rachel Kirkinell, we weren't sure if they were ever going to be together again. If you recall, Matt broke things off with Rachel due to her participation in an antebellum-themed fraternity party in college that surfaced online. Although Rachel reached the final rose, the two had a very public breakup after the photos from 2018 surfaced. The two met on the 25th season of The Bachelor, where the series received a record number of submissions for contestants. The 29-year-old Wake Forest graduate Matt James was a first for the show. Season 25 broke new ground for the franchise in a multitude of ways. Matt James was the first African-American lead on The Bachelor, and the contestants included 25 women, several of whom identify as bi-POC. Among the 38 women who had the opportunity to meet Matt was Rachel, a 24-year-old graphic designer from Georgia. While she didn't receive the coveted first impression rose, she caught Matt's eye on night one. He called her beautiful when she walked out of the limo. The two fell in love throughout the show, from one-on-one -on -one time to group dates. What caught Rachel's eye first was when Matt kicked off night one with a prayer. She had a visible emotional reaction, and slowly she fell hard for him, and he did for her. Prior to the photos of Rachel at the controversial frat party surfacing online, she made headlines when a TikTok user accused her of being discriminatory during high school. As the show aired, more allegations against Rachel came forth on social media. On February 2nd, after the initial wave of controversy, Matt James released a statement defending Rachel, saying, "'Rumors are dark and nasty and can ruin people's lives, so I would give people the benefit of the doubt, and hopefully she will have her time to speak on that.'" Two days later, photos of Rachel at a plantation-themed fraternity party in 2018 were leaked. The pictures were hard to defend, and her sister even confirmed the authenticity of them. Soon after, The Bachelor host, Chris Harrison, went on air to defend Rachel. While defending Rachel in an extra interview with former Bachelorette lead Rachel Lindsay, host Chris Harrison asked viewers to have compassion for her actions and used the term woke police. This was a controversial move. Not only did he receive a lot of backlash, soon after there was a petition asking for his removal from the show. Just as many were disappointed in Rachel, more were disappointed with Chris. Rachel Kirkinell gave her first apology on February 11th on Instagram. She apologized over the photo controversy by releasing a statement on Instagram. She said, I didn't realize how offensive and racist my actions were, but that doesn't excuse them. My age, or when it happened, doesn't excuse anything, she said in a statement in February. These are not acceptable or okay in any sense. I was ignorant, but my ignorance was racist. I'm sorry to the communities and individuals that my actions harmed and offended." She continued to say she's ashamed of her lack of education and that she's learning. She also encouraged others to use this as a teachable moment to prevent someone else from making the same mistake. She concluded by saying, "'Racial progress and unity are impossible without white accountability, and I deserve to be held accountable for my actions.'" As for forgiveness, Kirkinell said she hopes to earn it with her actions going forward. Apart from apologizing on social media, she also apologized to Matt in person. What is going to happen? <laughs> Extras Rachel Lindsay sat down with Mike Johnson on Zoom to talk about the controversy surrounding Chris Harrison's recent comments to Lindsay about current contestant Rachel Kirkinell. Mike addressed he thinks the issue should have been addressed sooner, especially with Harrison hosting the show after the controversy. Many were uncomfortable with Harrison hosting the pre-taped show. Chris Harrison had previously defended Rachel, but later recanted and issued an apology for having defended her. In his second apology, he announced that he would take a step back from the show to educate himself on being anti-racist. Matt spoke out later, saying Kirkinell's photos and Harrison's interview were incredibly disappointing, and said the recent events had been devastating and heartbreaking. During the finale of The Bachelor, Matt picked Rachel but didn't propose to her. James revealed during the After the Final Rose special that he split with Kirkinell after the plantation party photos emerged. 
The After the Final Rose special was very emotional, with Matt facing Rachel for the first time since their breakup. He took the opportunity to explain to the world the hurt he felt over the controversy. Through tears, Kirk Canal accepted James's breakup in the episode and blamed her ignorance for her past actions. She's since been keeping her social media followers appraised with the steps she's taking towards her anti-racism education, in addition to admonishing supporters who have been sending mean insults to James. Days after the most uncomfortable Bachelor finale in history, Rachel Kirkinell has spoken out to her supporters over how they're behaving in the aftermath of the couple's breakup. Posting to Instagram stories on March 17th, Kirkinell said she was aware of the rampant online backlash directed at James across social media, which included comments on her personal Instagram page. She has since disabled comments on a few of her photographs. I'm taken aback by what I've seen tonight. If you think that attacking a person I care about is what I would ever want, you haven't been listening," Kirkinell wrote. Some of the things I've seen being said to and about Matt are repulsive. I respect the decisions that Matt has had to make during this experience. If you're directing hate towards him, please stop. Recognize someone's humanity and think about the impact your words have. It seems Rachel's apologies and actions have moved Matt as the two rekindled their romance after a month apart after their split in March. On the show, you can't deny their chemistry, and maybe the two also realized that. They were spotted together in New York on April 6th. While at first, sources claim the two were just building on friendship, it soon evolved. Before confirming the reconciliation, the duo have been spotted in both New York City and Los Angeles. On April 28th, James now confirmed to people that they're indeed back in each other's romantic orbits. I've seen Rachel a handful of times, he explained. I'm not pursuing any relationships right now outside of that. I said I was going to focus on my relationship with her, and that means focusing on it. If you're confused about this reconciliation, it's because it's the opposite of everything James stated during his Bachelor finale. At the time, he said that learning about Kirk and Al's past, coupled with her initial defensiveness, made it clear that they can't be together. Such things as her not understanding his identity in the world and the problems their kids could possibly face. Maybe it was these actions, and some in private, that made Matt give her another chance. Matt feels Rachel has been doing the work she promised in regard to educating herself about her past actions. The two are seemingly moving past their issues. Giving the Wall Street Journal his first post-Bachelor interview, Matt James expanded on his decision to get back together with Rachel Kirkinell, citing they're having open conversations about what caused the initial break. He also said, It's on people who care about being allies to do the work to be truly anti-racist, and I think it's unfair to leave people without the ability to unlearn and be better. Kirkinell also confirmed via email to WSJ that they're indeed back together, noting that she's kept Instagram quiet about their reconciliation for privacy reasons. Matt's decision did not come without any controversy due to how shocking the finale of The Bachelor was. Many thought that was the end for the couple. While some don't believe Rachel deserves a second chance, others are happy for the couple. Do you watch The Bachelor? What do you think about the recent controversies? If you were Matt, would you give Rachel a second chance? Do you think this couple will last? Let us know in the comments. For more videos on the latest in pop culture, like this video and subscribe to The Things Celebrity.